I ran into a challenge today that I was trying to figure out, and it was the challenge of creating a group of buttons on the dashboard that when you click them, one would highlight, and if you clicked another one, that one would highlight and the other one would turn off. So you could have a group of buttons that would operate like a radio button on a like an input form on a website. Um, kind of a toggle switch, but a multi-button toggle switch. And so here's I, what I figured out after I had asked the question on the forum. I just went ahead and poked around and tried to figure out how to do it, and I did. Um, first of all, uh, you need to have the Home Assistant Community Store installed, uh, which you can figure out through this site here, hacks.xyz. Um, once that's installed, you'll need to uh, download the, let's see, where do I have it? Bopity bopity ba. Go to hacks. Is it front end? I think it's front end and it's called um, Button Card. Yeah, it's this one right here. Button Card by ROM Writer. Um, you'll need to install this so you can do what it is that I've done here. So now uh, I'm going to create a simple, this is a, this is a brand new dashboard. And uh, let's see, I'm going to add a card. And let's go to horizontal not an horizontal, horizontal. Let's do a horizontal stack. And then I'm going to go to the code editor because it's just easier for me to do this. I'm going to type in the type of card is a custom button card. And the entity I'm going to choose is an input select. And I created an input select for the seasons winter, spring, summer, fall. I'm going to name this one winter, not window, winter. I'll give it a color type of color type card. And then uh, the color is going to be, say, RGB A0000% alpha. Tap action. This is where it's going to do what I want it to do. Tap action is going to be a call service and the service is going to be input select select option and the target is going to be the entity that I want to affect entity ID is input select season right now I want the data that gets sent through this service call to be the option that I would choose if I was selecting the options from a drop-down list. Option winter. Now that's the option I've already programmed into the input select. So I use the um, studio code um, to edit, studio visual code to edit my config file behind the scenes to create this. You, I think you can create this in the helper section, uh, but I created it using the YAML code behind the scenes in the configuration folder, and I created a an input select, custom input select, with the four options of winter, summer, uh, fall, and spring. So there we go. We have winter. And now what I want to do is change the color of this card based on the state of the current state, the current selection on that. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to add state value. This is the value I want it to be based upon. Winter and color, let's say green. So it's green. And it's green right now because if we go and we look at, this is done. If we look at under developer tools, states, if I go find uh, input, select, season, it's set to winter. And so that's and we see the options are winter, summer, fall, and spring. And if I go back to this dashboard and go back into editing it, let's go back to edit, do show code editor. Now I want four buttons. So I'm going to take this code right here. I'm going to copy it and dump it right there. Paste another one there and paste another one there. So now I have four winters. Now we just need to come up here and change what we want. Summer, let's see, call service select option, summer. And then we want value summer. And then 
Fog. 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 And spring. And these are in no particular order. You can do this however you want. Whoops. Spring. And spring. Boop. Out of control. Spring. So now I've got four buttons here. If I save it and I'm done, I can see that I have winter, summer, fall, and spring. So if I click on summer, it changes to summer, fall, and spring. Now these four buttons control the state of that input select. So if I go back to developer tools, I can see that we're set to spring. If I go to the dashboard and hit fall, now we're at fall. So using the custom button, oops, using the custom buttons and an input select and styling, basically, you can set up a uh, kind of a dashboard indicator. So if I were to go, now this is set up that way, if I were to go to back to the developer tools and affect this manually, let's go here and let's change it to winter, right? And I come back to this page, winter's highlighted. So any automation will affect what it looks like on the screen. And if I click any of these buttons, it will affect what can happen. And this could be used for all kinds of really cool things. If I wanted to program a state, if I wanted to say, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put a slider down here maybe, and it's going to be a volume button. And that volume button changes the volume of whatever, um, device I've selected. I could create a custom input select to control maybe six different zones of my audio system and call it maybe zone two. So if I clicked on say zone two and then affected the volume level, it would only affect the volume on zone two. Um, of course, if you wanted to select or, uh, and do multiples, you'd have to do a different kind of input. It wouldn't be an input select, it would be an input Boolean, um, in which case you lose this functionality, but this is for a specific purpose. And uh, that's how I figured it out. So if you have any questions, let me know, give me a like, share it up, uh, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.